Okay, so sorry about the lighting in the shop. I know you can see like the little black lines and shit. Uh, fighting the GoPro with that. Something about the lighting in here is just kind of bad and it's off. So what we're gonna do, even though there's a hole in the red eater, I'm gonna pull this out, take it up. We're gonna park it up there, uh, move everything behind. And basically we're gonna pull my brother's truck in. We're gonna be doing Governor Springs on it today. I think that door is, oh, door is open. Cool, so I don't have to walk all the way around. But yeah, so we're gonna do his truck today. Do the Governor Springs on that. Wow, I forgot how much shit was on the back of this thing. But it's nice and warm. We're gonna also be cleaning the floors in the shop today. So just waiting on the turbo elbow for this. That'll be in next week apparently. So I'm gonna start going through and just getting rid of some stuff and neatening things up. So aside from that, little red truck is back. Honda needs work, power steering pump just went out. Power steering fluid is everywhere. There he is down there, killed his truck last night. So I'm gonna let him have it idle for a while, but I need to get all this stuff off of here first. But I don't know, it's funny, this little Honda can back up this hill, but a two wheel drive truck can't. Interesting. You don't need four wheel drive. You just need to know how to drive. That's my logic, I don't know. So we're gonna get working on this thing here soon. I'm gonna have him come and help me. Probably have him pull up until we can get everything situated on the back of the truck. Oh, you missed it, but he actually got up here. So the, the Accord, I can leave it a dead stop and pull it up. Whereas this, it's like, or even my truck, like they just, they're not happy about moving. So, but or not, you guys can see where I took it off the trailer and it like bottomed out, so. Yeah, we're gonna start getting rid of shit, burning stuff and go from there. And the valve covers aren't on yet either, so. I don't know. All right, we'll see if this thing starts. I need a specific wrench to shut it down. So I won't use the clutch anymore. We'll see if uh, see if I can't get in there and shut this fuel off. All right, let's see how she runs. Oh, the fuel shut off works. Oh, no brake life. All right, so the fuel shut off works, but um, unfortunately, yeah, this uh, there's no power steering, no power brakes, none of that. So that sucks. But let's go move our tr the car and get out of his way. All right, so this is pretty much where the truck's gonna sit for a while because uh, just waiting on our truck, which should be here Tuesday or Wednesday sometime next week. So we're gonna be working on the 12 valve build. So this thing can just sit, do its thing, don't care. So be a good while till we get in, but grab some GoPro batteries and then, yep, that one's charged. And I'll be able to go put some governor springs in a truck. You guys saw in the last, in one of the last videos, how it accelerated so keep that in mind we're not going to do a before on this video but yeah so let's go see how these governor springs do all right well here she is hopefully the gopro lasts long enough to be able to actually film something here if i need to get some of these wire harnesses out of the way clean some of this stuff up get rid of the just unnecessaries so we're basically uh he has three 4k governor springs so we're just going to put the three k's in and we'll go from there but yeah this intake tube has to come out of the way the intake itself has to come off um i don't know we might maybe i'll see if i can't get in there without having to mess with any of this stuff but to be able to see it uh it definitely would help but we shall uh we shall see let's grab a flashlight and see what we can find in there So he's over here doing the, what are you trying to do? So he movie. found this really old, I don't even know, brewed and canned in England, Wessex. Let me know what you guys think of this stuff. I'm gonna give you a uh, an honest review of this. All right, we're gonna, gonna try right now. We're gonna yeah, crack this off. open. Not even gonna wipe the lid off. You know Let's see how bad. 
That could be like, oh, it smells like piss. That could be like 20 years old, dude. That is disgusting. Yep, that is nasty. I'm not really a beer guy though, that is nasty. Here, go ahead, try it. It tastes like normal beer. Yeah, I know, I hate the taste of normal beer. All right, well. Cool. What's the age on it? Um, June of 96. But uh, yeah, so Dodges have this nice little thing here where you can put bolts so it's a nice holder because they know you're going to be working on them. Especially the diesels. So, let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to take this elbow off if I can help it. That way I don't have to worry about like blowing any gaskets or anything like that. But so, let's see. It looks like I just need to take off the guy down there for the arm. So we'll see, I think that's like an eight mil. So I'll grab that here in a second. So Josh says he's been super happy if you saw in the last video uh, with the shifter when we put the bolt through it, made it so much tighter than factory. So said he's super happy with it. Now, you guys can see there's the fuel solenoid right there. And uh, I think right here, this is what was surrounding it. And that's uh, really bad. So he's definitely gonna wanna get one of those. I've already got, Here's the little clip that holds that thing on. And then we can come down in here and should be able to just pry it off, which, you know, shouldn't be too bad. Just getting it in there, trying, trying. There we go. So now we got that off. All right, so I warned him before I took this apart. I'm like, hey, your fuel solenoid's gonna come apart. And sure as shit, what did it do? It came apart. So the only thing holding this thing together was the fact that travel is limited. Um, I told him he's gonna go get another one, so that'll do, but I'll end up putting this back on. It'll be reusable, but I don't know how long you guys can see, like this is just awful. So I didn't even have to pull that off there and it just came off. So we knew it was gonna come apart eventually, but all you gotta do really is just put that back on, let me your travel and then just sit that there, so. Good, all right, so. You guys can see, oh, you guys can see down in there. It looks like he never had Governor Springs done because this little guy here is on there. So if that's there, this is this never has been messed with. See that string that goes across. So it looks like all I had to do to get to that was take off the fuel solenoid, which it sucks I'm gonna have to take it off again when we do the fuel plate, but we're doing things in steps. So I wanna show him just exactly what Governor Springs do. We'll test drive it. Great, everything's good. Then we'll do a fuel plate test it great everything's good then we'll do afc tuning and then we'll do the timing which you have head studs so let me know down in the comments how much timing we should run because i run 18 on mine without head studs i was thinking 20 would be perfect for him it's not too much it's not too little we're gonna end up cutting cutting that guy right there if i could make it home today in this thing that'd be great oh huh? yeah yeah, I'm getting a Kia. I'm gonna have to replace it with a Kia. Yeah, I'm getting a fucking Turner here. Kia. Are you filming that? Yeah. Oh my All right, so now it's officially cut. Now what we end up doing is we'll end up taking, I don't know how well you guys can see it, right about there. Oh man, camera, there it is. You can see the bolt like right about in here. So we'll take that out, we'll spin the engine over, um, and then once you do this, you'll always have to adjust the idle, at least in my case I've found that, so the idle's gonna be a little high. So we'll get that off and we'll go from there. All right, we're getting that bolt out. I found uh, in our case, a 22 works great. All right, so we got the bolt off. This is, uh, I think it was a 22 is what I got it with. So now we spin the engine over. Wow, there's a lot of oil coming out of there. Let's make sure we're hitting the pan, which, oh, there we go, yep. You guys can see down in there that hole. Yeah, it's starting to piss oil. So we gotta spin the motor over. Josh, you're right good at now. spinning the motor over, right? Do it right now. Yeah, we're going. Come here, Josh. Look. Look in your hole. That's your governor housing. So while he's going and getting something to spin the motor over, so here's your factory 180 thermostat, right? And this thing doesn't actually warm up at all in the cold weather. 
and there's a link on one of the forums that you can actually put a big block Dodge, like from an old, like, I, think, I forget what engine size it was, but you can get a thermostat from a big block, and they fit these, and they're 190 or 195 degrees. I have a 195 in mine, but 180 degree thermostat on these engines is not enough and you'll actually lose fuel mileage running a 180 thermostat on these it doesn't burn as efficient and i noticed a good pickup of fuel economy when i did there's another mile or two mi uh, miles per gallon just putting in a thermostat so definitely look into that um somewhere on the forums it was but yeah so we're gonna spin the motor over get these you guys can see here's the 4k springs you just gotta leave the small spring out. That small spring in there will let you rev to 4,200 RPMs. And if you leave it out, you can rev to 3,200 RPMs. So, here we go. You guys can see in there, there is one of the governor springs. So you're gonna wanna count the clocks that came off. I've already got three and then it's pretty loose. So do like three or four clicks on them. I usually do about three. Um, more clicks you do, the higher it's gonna idle. You don't want to make them super tight, but you don't want to make them super loose. So once you start screwing them on, they'll click. So get like three good clicks on them. There will be a soft click and then three good clicks. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So we're going to try to get that off now. Something touched me deep inside. All right, so here is the springs, which we will compare these. I do believe that these are the stock springs. There's no, no way they're not. There is another spring in there. There's a third spring. Don't take that out. They are, yeah, they're just not made to come out. So, I mean, you can take it out, but they are specifically for the pump. So we're gonna grab the governor springs here and I'll show you guys basically how these work. All right, so you guys can see the comparison here. I don't know, I don't remember using this, so we're probably gonna end up putting the stock, this guy back in, because yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna use this. Let me know what you guys do, but here's the stock. Like this, just, it clicks like that. So I don't think, okay, yeah, no way. So yeah, here's the difference. You guys can see, look how small that spring is, and then look how, like they're smaller. Here's the stock one compared to the 3K, and then here's the stock one compared to the 3K. And then this one, if you want to rev to 4K, put that in. But we're not going to do that. All right, so here, here, here he is. Here's your, here's your springs. These are your factory springs. See the size difference? See how this is? This spring here is bigger than this one. This spring here. This, so these are your 3Ks. This is a 4K. We're going to throw that away. I'm not going to touch that. Fair enough. So. You can see the difference. You did not have governor springs. Awesome. So, that's awesome. This is just one side. And you guys will see that when I'm doing this, I had a pick, a screwdriver in there so that if anything were to fall, it would catch on this. You do not want to drop any of this in that pump or you're pulling a pump. And in this engine bay, I can only imagine pulling this pump. All right, let's get these guys in here. Like I said, you guys can see the difference. So the middle spring is going to be bigger and then the taller spring is going to be smaller. So he. I thought you yeeted the spring. Oh, here's, yeah, here's this it little spring. He yeeted that across the room. You're also, I, yeah, you're not gonna use this. Putting that in would be a really bad idea because then this could back out. So you wanna use the stock one is what I'm finding. Cause it clicks, you guys can see the little up there and then on here. So this actually locks into place. So as you're screwing it in, you'll want three good hard clicks. All right, we're on number two. We're grabbing that one right now. So obviously since we've already 
changed one out and I've already showed that. So I'm gonna get this one pulled out a while. You guys understand how I do it. And there's a magnet somewhere that I lost, but we're gonna grab that quick. All right, round true. This thing definitely did not have governor springs. You know, he, he seemed to think he did, which is fair. It actually does pull really well for a 97. So like I think his truck has like 215 horsepower. My factory engine came with like 180 because it was out of an auto. So we'll get these thrown in, super easy. Toss these fuckers in real quick. The springs are the ones you don't have to worry about falling down to the pump for the most part. It's the um, this stuff here that you have to worry about. I made a whoopsie. I uh, forgot there was a really tiny spring, tiny, tiny, tiny spring. Um, I'm gonna have to pull that out of the other side, but I knew something was off. You're so funny. definitely make sure that you get this spring out. But that definitely sits in the bottom. I don't know about this, but yeah, this, get this out. All right, so this also comes out. That sits your little small spring on it and then your next spring. So yeah, also make sure that you get that out as well because pretty sure that's not, I don't think that's supposed to sit in there. Yeah, def, well, let me show you. So definitely not supposed to sit in there, I don't think. Whoopsies. Yeah, not a big deal. We'd have found this out anyway, so. Kind of like, it's been a hot minute since I did this because I did this on mine like two years ago and it's been running great. So just need to remember to make sure you get all of the pieces out, but just going through and reconditioning my memory is all. So not a big deal. Right here you can see, pull that guy off. Then there's this one. There's the two springs that we're gonna use and then a base. So that's basically what this should look like. All that goes on as just like that. So. That's what your assembly should look like when you're putting it back in. Don't use this, don't use the shim, and don't use the little spring. So, I did have to check and verify that because like I said, it has been a hot minute since I did it. So I'm like, ah, I might as well just, you know, play it safe and check it out and just verify. So we're good, throw this all back in, do the same on the other side. All right, so he's gonna start it. We're gonna figure out what it's idling at, make sure everything is good. And I left the solenoid off because it's gonna have to come off anyway. But basically like to shut it off, all I gotta do is that and it's off, so. I'll uh, see what it idles at. If it starts to run, just put it in fifth and just make sure it's not gonna run away. If it decides it wants to run away, then Oof. that's when you'll, yeah. So Good to know. run yeah. it. All right, we're really high, so. Cool. All right, I knew that would have happened. So we're at like 1200-ish, so we need to bring that down to like 800 without the AC on. So with the AC on, it should be right around 750. So we're a little high. So to do the idle adjustment on these things, it's, it's two 10 millimeter wrenches. It's nothing, nothing crazy. So let's see, the idle adjustment is somewhere down there. I've done it on mine a bunch of times, usually on the side of the road, but we'll get that adjusted and then we're gonna go do a test drive. All right, so we got his idle at around like 850-ish. AC comes on, stays running. That's all that uh, matters, it's good. So everything is good. I didn't put his, I'm not putting this back on until we go back in to do the fuel plate, which I will, uh, depending on how our time goes today, we'll do that. But I want him to drive it. We'll get it started, get it, go drive it around and see how big of a difference it actually made. So 3K springs should definitely make a good difference. You don't need to clean up yet because we'll, we'll probably do the fuel plate. So you didn't lose much, if any oil. Yeah, you got plenty of oil in there. So that's, uh, that's a wrap we got. We got them in. Seriously, this shifter is so, is so much tighter. All right, we're gonna try out these governor springs and see how they do. Hey. What, that was perfect. I heard a little click there, bud. So on 
on mine it made a lot bigger of a difference but on this it actually feels like a like an actual truck now like from the factory it feels like it's it's free revving like it's supposed to that's good made a huge difference on mine this one it definitely made a difference just not you know it wasn't as intense but it definitely made a difference so i'm gonna let him drive it here in a second i'm gonna pull to the bar here and uh let you do your thing Boom. It's a little clicky in third, but that's not the, that's not the Oh, I usually don't even try second to third. Second to third's easy. I just. That's your money shot. I just don't really try it. I haven't drove stick in a minute. All right, so a lot of you guys really love this truck. So I figure I'll try to make a couple of videos on it this week. We're going through and basically like making everything nice on it. Not, you know, we're gonna make it have some power, make it more tow worthy. Um, he wants to get some mirrors for it. We need to get some tires for it and just go over all the nitty gritty. But I'll let him drive it and see what he thinks. And now that we know that the Governor Springs are done, it'll make a huge difference when he starts adding power. Which way you wanna go? Just go straight and then do the route that I did the other day. We have cars coming. All right, he's pulling out. Let her eat the whole way up. What are you up. doing, bud? Oh, that's not really much of a difference. It's not much, but it, I don't know why. Your truck just seemed to have that umph up top with the shitty governor spray. It's moving though, I like it. It's a lot, or it's, it's a little bit better, definitely. Why are you not going into fit there, bud? Holy crap. All right, yeah. Even he said, it wasn't the huge, I don't know why. On his truck, it wasn't as big a difference as it was on mine. I had a 96. And once you'd hit 22, you'd actually feel it. So you'd actually feel it cut back. His, you could feel it a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe the guy had an aftermarket pump on it or something. I don't know, but those were definitely stock springs. So who knows, but let's, uh, let's go add some horsepower to this baby. We'll add the horsepower first. So I'll get the fuel plate on first and then we'll do the, yeah, make sure nothing's coming. And then we'll do the AFC tuning after. So we're gonna do things once at a time. I so. had clutch in and it grinded second. <laughs> I meant to do it a little bit quicker than that, but it said no. Oh yeah. All right, well yeah, like I said, we're gonna get back to the shop and then we will go from there and throw a number 10 fuel plate in it. Damn, boy. Try to put the seat forward and back door short. All right, so all I'm gonna need for this is there is a flathead up top. I'm gonna have to dent in the no, damn, this thing smells like oil. You can smell that burning oil. Um, you have, burning. there's a uh, tamper-proof screw, there's a flathead, and then there's two 10 mil bolts, and then there's this thing up here that you gotta take off, so that'll be fun. So hopefully I uh, should have time to do this real quick. It's uh, 2.04, so I got about an hour to throw a fuel plate in it. All right, so um, I ended up just drilling out the top bolt, so we can do that. And then the other three, these tamper-proof screws, just do whatever you can to just break the head off. And then you can get a pair of vice grips in there once you take the fuel lines off. And Because you're gonna have to take the fuel lines off anyway. So once you get this AFC housing out of the way, you'll be able to do that. I am working on right now just getting the other three screws out. Um, I don't know why they do this. One of them's a flathead. Two of them are 10 mil or eight mils and then one of them's a tamper proof that I literally just used a drill bit to drill through. All right, here she comes. Nah, no need to take that off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna fight this thing a little bit more and we'll get that out. All right, so there's the fuel plate. Uh, for some reason, like, it looked kind of crooked, but it could just be me. Let's see. There's no way anybody else has ever been in here because of the tamper-proof screw. So what I'll do is I'll take a flathead screwdriver with a pair of vice grips on it, and that's how I get it. So let's, uh, let's go brand it that quick. No. I helped it. Fuck no, it. not you. I thought you were giggling. Fly. No, there was a fly. All right, so like I said, all we are going to do today is a fuel plate. Yep, that is a factory fuel plate, so that is some good news. So 
It's weird, the tamper proof screw. A lot of things aren't lining up on this motor. Like it seems like everything hasn't been touched, but at the same time, this thing has head studs. So I don't know if there was a factory option where you could, I don't even know what that is. Is that a factory fuel plate? Like this thing's got nubs on the bottom of it. So I don't know if this is a factory P pump or, or what it is, but something's not lining up, but here's the one we're gonna be throwing in. So you guys, let's, Let's try to see if we can't do a comparison. So here's the two, okay? I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically, I mean, yeah, you're definitely gonna pick up a lot right here. So we're gonna put this in the full forward position. And uh, yeah, so, and, and then with the AFC housing over there, we'll push the AFC housing towards the back because that also has a minor adjustment too. And then tomorrow when we come back, we'll do some AFC's tuning. So I want to see what Governor Springs and just a number 10 fuel plate will do. And the reason we're doing this one is because this one's good for towing. So no zero plate for this truck. This truck is going to be strictly towing at some point. So we're just trying to get this thing as a drivable tuning, not super aggressive like what I have. All right. So if you guys can see down here, all you do is you push it all the way to the, to the front of the motor. And then we'll grab our vice grips and our screwdriver and we will get it tightened up. See if she starts. All right, cool. No smoke yet, that's good. So. I'm gonna have him drive this thing around. I'm gonna clean up the shop because I gotta go and I'll let him film you guys. I'll put you right here. Just let it run. Have fun. What? Go drive, you got five minutes. Oh my God. I don't mean to steal his channel at all, I really don't. Truck stall is a hell of a lot easier. What? I've never stalled this truck before he did this.
How is it? About the same, not gonna lie. Nah, I, I wanna try it. I wanna try it. Here, oh. let me let me drive it up quick. I gotta go though. Like the firearm just chilling on the floor. Ignore that. The brakes are off. Go on. Hit the brakes. Okay, all right, film <laughs> me. I wanna move my shit up and then I gotta go. You, you gotta put it in second and then put it in first. I try not to talk too much. But uh, it really doesn't feel that much different. It might have a different sound though. Yeah, wait till we do the AFC tuning tomorrow for you. I'm gonna coast back down the driveway, but I'll do the AFC tuning here um, for him tomorrow. And then that should definitely make another decent amount of difference. I don't know, this, this truck's kind of sus. Something, uh, something about it just doesn't make sense. These differences are supposed to make a huge difference and because I've gone through them and for some reason on his truck it's not but he also does have a 200 and this truck came with 215 horsepower so that might be why the governor springs are a little bit different in his my motor was a 180 so that would make sense oh, my so i don't know but we'll see hope you guys enjoyed see you in the next one have a good one